Hello everyone. We are from Kent State University going to present our PDM. So our PDM is integrating Google Classroom and YouTube channel to facilitate differentiated instruction. I am Niranjan Chandrapal, high school mathematics teacher from Bangladesh. And I am Lady Abdullahi from Uganda. I'm uh, Isaac Drame from Senegal. So welcome to this uh, professional development module, uh, which is entitled Integrating um, Google Classroom and YouTube Channel to Facilitate Differentiated Instruction. Uh, at the starting point of our PDM present, uh, preparation, we thought of these following steps. That in our schools, the students are more and more demotivated. They are more and more demotivated, and the results are going from bad to worse. Why are they going from bad to worse? Because we think that in our classes, the, the teachers, in their instructions, they just have what they call one size fits all. So we're not varying the instructions according to the students' uh, needs, according to the students' interest, according to the students' um, readiness. So in this, uh, the, the, the presentation, uh, the, the, the objectives of our, of our PDM, as you can see, is first of all, we uh, for the whole PDM, we dealt with the, the strategies, the different strategies to um, identify the, the different learning styles of the students. And then we thought of um, defining differentiated instruction according to, to um, uh, scholars who talked about it. Then we uh, thought of um, creating differentiated assignment in uh, in the Google Classroom, and also engaging ways of engaging students in the in YouTube channel. Why do we think that this is important? So I just would like to ask my participants here. Thank you for coming in. I just would like to tell you if you have any idea about differentiated instruction. In a word, what do you think it is? Yeah. Take into consideration uh, our students' potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm being able to uh, address the different needs of the learners in our classes. Exactly. Yes, I think you have said it. In our classes, the students, they have different cognitive abilities and they have different potentials. We need to pay attention to all these when we are teaching. So it calls upon us, the teachers, to change and readapt the instructions we are giving every day to our students to adapt them and try to satisfy the students' needs. Are we doing it? We're going to see how we're going to do it today, because in our session today, we're just going to focus on integrating um, um, uh, on uh, integrating Google Classroom to facilitate differentiated instruction. So for the objectives of uh, this session, we think that um, we plan to just first of all to um, Yeah, today we just we will create differentiated instruction in uh, in Google Classroom, and after we will try to to find out on um, uh, assignments that are going to be allocated to the different learning styles that we have in our classes, right? So, differentiated instruction also as it is it has been defined by Carol Tomlinson. It is just a philosophy based on uh, the premise that the, the teachers. They have to vary their instructions. They have to vary their instructions to match the learner's um, everyday needs. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And how is it possible? How are we going to do it? We just will, uh, we as teachers, we will have to, to be proactive, meaning we just need to identify the students. First, what are the different learning styles of our students? And after we readapt the learning, uh, the, the learning is the teaching is, um, instructions according to those learners. It can be applicable in all subject areas. I mean, in French, um, teaching languages, in teaching science, or any other, any other subject. But today, we're going to see how this is possible using technology. So this is the way, uh, this is uh, the time for me to introduce the next co-presenter. Co Thank you, Ajak. So as you know that today's our lesson or presentation is on Google Classroom. So we are going to use Google Classroom 
So Google Classroom, you can use from your laptop, from your mobile, desktop, or iPhone, or Android phone. You can use any device. So first of all, my dear students, I'll come to the class. So start with a bingo game. I always like to start with a bingo game. So bingo game is very easy. So you have uh, some questions like find someone who used Google Classroom. Find someone who has the Google Classroom mobile application. So if you can find, then write the name. And if you can match in a column or raw or diagonal, then you will shout bingo. Then you will get a gift. So go ahead. It's very simple. Ask each other. I want to see who can do fast. Good. You can. No. Bingo. Oh. Yes, Arvin. Come on, Arvin. You have a gift for me. Thank you. Thank you, Arvin. Well done. Okay. So, as you know, so if you just go to the google.com from your laptop or if you use app, so go to your app. If you don't download this one, then you can download within a minute. So, I like to you to go Google Classroom. You can see there Google Classroom. If you cannot see, then you can click on even more over there. Then you will find your then you will find your Google Classroom. Okay, done. So if you use app, then you can use plus sign over there. So in the plus sign, you will see if you click on this plus sign. So then you will see join as a student or you can create a classroom. So here you are as, as a student. So just click on join the class. So then you will lead to this screen. Are you in this screen now? Yes. Okay. So then you need a code. So I'm going to give you the code. So if you just put the code in this column, so then you will get into the classroom. So here is the code. Use this code. This is the code. 4 g b 7 g q OK, so I have seen that some students have joined already in the class. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I have seen Arvin, Jazz, Eric, Ivan. Okay, then uh, we are going to show how can we differentiate it in the Google Classroom using uh, different types of learner. So in this time, uh, Lira is going to show you how can we engage different types of learner in Google Classroom. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Niraja. Well, our major aim is to see how we can differentiate learners in Google Classroom, which is the technology tool that we are using. And thank you for making the learners join. Well, as teachers, we have different ways that you can differentiate your learners. You can differentiate your learners through the content you give them or through the assignments that you give them. For this particular session, you're going to look at differentiation of learners based on content. Now, um, for this particular presentation, we are going to look at an English concept, which is similes and metaphors. So as teachers, we have different learners in our classroom. So the content that we've organized about similes and metaphors is uh, has been differentiated according to what smart learners, musical learners, and visual learners. Now, if I am to give the different learners, if I am to give learners in my classroom different types of content, the first content that maybe I could want to first show you is the content for what smart learners, the learners that learn better or best if they look at the words. They look at the words and read them, they can comprehend better. So um, when we go to this unit here that talks about depreciation of what smart learners, you can see this PDF. Uh, it is talking about 
similes and metaphors. It defines the similes and metaphors, and then it also gives the examples of similes and metaphors. Now, if in my class I have learners who are wordsmith learners, they learn better if they look at the words, then I will go back to my classroom. I'll go back to my classroom, and if I go to this class sign, if I go to stream there, it will lead me to a page. Okay, so when it leads me to this page here, you can see the plus sign in the corner there. So when I click on that plus sign, it gives me different options. And so for this particular presentation, I want to create an assignment and I want to give out content to my students. So I'll click on create assignment and then it's going to lead me into another different page. So this page, it's asking me for a title. So I'll type in similes and metaphors. So when it asks me for the title, after typing in, it asks me for additional instructions. So this is optional to the teacher. If you want to, if you feel that your students will understand better if you added more instructions, then you can say are uh, attached, are uh, reading materials about similes and metaphors, okay? And then you can tell them, read, or, or you can tell them, read the attached materials and then answer the assignment that has been allocated to you. So this is optional. It depends on the teacher. If you feel like your students need more, if you feel like your students need more instructions, then you can do that. Then from there, you can go to, you can see the different pages here. You can see the downer icons here. There is uh, the document icon here. So if as a teacher you save your material under documents, then you can go to documents and attach the materials that you want to give to this student. If you save your material under the drive, then you can still go to drive and then attach the materials that you have from your drive. But then if you have your material under the YouTube, then you go to YouTube and then attach. For this particular presentation, we just have a link, this. So I'll click there and it's going to ask me for the link. Then I'll go back to where I saved my link about depreciation and then I will copy it and I will paste it in my classroom. So I paste it there and say add link. Now, I also want to give an assignment, which is in my drive. So I'll go back here and click on drive. And when I click on drive, it's going to direct me to the drive on my computer. So I'll go to my drive and then I will, I'll go to my drive. Well, you know, technology sometimes fails. So I'll go to my drive and attach a material, okay? So when I attach this material, I'll just, when I attach this material, I will, then that way it is easier for me to differentiate. But if you have not saved something in the drive, you can also type your work there. You don't have to go to the drive or to the documents. You can also type your work there. So for this case, I attach the differentiated material, I attach the assignment, and then I'll go up to students. So when I go up to students, it brings me all the students in my classroom. So I know as a teacher that these are the learners that are very that are very good when they look at words, that learn best when they look at words. So I will click on my students and say, um, Arvin Onyez, you see, it gives me the different students. So I'll go to Arvin Onyez, and then I may go to Jazz Perez, and then I say, assign, okay? Then I say, assign. So it's these two students that are going to get this particular type of assignment. The rest will not get it. The rest will not get these reading materials. So since we are talking about differentiation, um, we are going to show you the other way, the, it, it's, we are going to show you the other material that you could allocate to these students. So we shall go back to our slide, and then I have, assuming my participants here who are teachers, but they are willing to be students in this particular presentation, Assume me in this, in this group, I have the musical learners. So I'll go back and look for material that is talking still about similes and metaphors. Then I will, for example here, when I click on this, it's taking me to the same material that I, 
that I gathered about similes and metaphors. So um, I'll just click on it, and then it's going to give me the material. So when you click on it, it gives you the material, and then the students can see this particular type of material. They can read it. They can look at it, they, they can easily internalize it because they are the musical learners. So, when the students see this type of material, we've muted the volume, when the students see this type of the material, they will be able to understand what we are talking about. So, students, uh, now this is the type of material, it's also talking about similes and metaphors, and this is what I would like to give out to my musical learners. So after knowing that this is what I want to give out to my musical learners, I will go back to classroom, and uh, I say, I go back to stream, so when I go back to stream, it again takes me to the plus sign, I will say, uh, create assignment again. So when I go there, because I've given to a particular bunch of students the differentiated content on similes and metaphors, I will look, I will type in again and say similes and metaphors. This is, uh, this wants to be given out to different types or different categories of students. So again, I may put the instructions that depend on the teacher, and then again, I will go on and attach a link. There are those options there. I'll go on and attach the link. So our link, is connected again to similes and metaphors, but in this case, it's a different, it's, it's being presented to the students in a different way, through music. So I'll copy that link, and then I'll go on and paste it uh, uh, into my classroom. So when I paste it into my classroom, I have the option of selecting, when I paste it into my classroom, I add that link, then I go on, I have to give them an assignment to this, these are reading materials. So I go on and go back to my drive. When I go to the drive, it's going to direct me to where I saved my work as a teacher. So I will go on to the drive and click the work that I want to give to my students. So when I click this work, it's going to, it's going to lead me on, it, it's going to just be directed into the Google Classroom, which I want to use today. So I attach it there, and then I say students, so you can see it again has given me the option of all students, and I don't want to give it out to all students. So I will look for which particular student I would like to give this work to. And in this case, since I've given Arvin, I'll say Eric and, uh, so these are students in the same class getting the same content but presented in a different way. Then I will go back and say assign. When I assign, it's these two students who are getting this type of this type of material. So we can ask them, do you have the work assigned to you so far? Yes. So these participants are teachers. But they, when they participate here, they are able to see how a student is able to view Google Classroom. If you are to use it as teachers, they can see how their student will be able to view Google Classroom. So after that, if I have more material, who has not got the one? Um, Yvonne, do you have some more? Yes. Yeah, so all of them have got. But if I have more students, and then maybe I prepared more work, for, in this case, we have the visual learners, then I will go back again and look for that type of material for the visual learners 
and then I will click on it. It's still about similes and metaphors. So when I click on this, it takes me to the YouTube channel, which I, which is also still talking about similes and metaphors. But in this form, uh, this time it's presented in a different way. students who are visual learners in my class and I feel like they will learn better the similes and metaphors if they looked at this particular video then I would allocate it to them but for this case I am going to give out this video to all the learners there is also that option if you don't want to differentiate then you can give it out to all the learners so I'll go back to my classroom and then when I go to classroom it gives me three options up there which are students stream, student, and about. Then I will click on about, and when I go there, it asks me to add classroom material. So I will just click there and add the link, okay, to give out to the whole classroom. Now, this is different. This is all the learners get the material. So after that, I will say add the link. And then all the learners are able to get all this type of material. I go to post there after adding the link. I just go to post. And then all the learners will be able to get the material. Now, for this presentation, we have used similes and metaphors. But then this does not limit you as a teacher if you wanted to differentiate in your classroom and you are a teacher of a different discipline, then you too can use differentiated instruction. You can get your material earlier on, know your learners, and after knowing them, you know that this one is like this and this one learns like this, then you differentiate your material. For this particular presentation, we have used similes and metaphors typical of the English classroom, but a math teacher too can do the same, a science teacher can do the same if you're teaching about, let's say, the environment. You can get a passage about the environment, you go on and get a video about the environment, you get a video on maybe trees, and show these students, okay? Then the different learners will be able to learn the same content, but in a different way. That's the whole concept behind it, differentiation. So if we go back to classroom here, if we go back to classroom, it can show you as a teacher, if we went to, uh, if we went to stream there, so if we scroll down, it can show you as a teacher which student has answered and which student has not answered. If we go there, you can see that one student was given this type of assignment and this student has done. 
the assignment. Is it one? No, there were two because in the total it is one student has done and one student has not done. So which means another one is yet to do. So that is the whole, uh, uh, that is how good Google Classroom can be. It is used for differentiation, but it can also be used for different things. It can help you as a teacher to arrange your work, grade your work, and organize your classroom. For the next session, we are going to have feedback from our participants here about what they have learned. So I will invite my co-presenter, Niran Jean Paul, and he's going to take you through the feedback process. Okay, thank you, Lydia. So now it's time. From our presentation, we are going to ask some questions. So using Kahoot. So I will all you of you participate, and there is another gift for you. So you just type up kahoot.it. And they will actually put. Okay, now join. Use this code to join Kahoot. So four three four three zero five nine zero four. So use this code to join the Kahoot. Okay, let's ready. So first question: Which apps would you use in the classroom? Four options. Oh, wow, very fast. <laughs> Why L? That is Ivan. Wow, well, Ivan is leading. Next question. Which two technology tools did you use to create differentiation in this video? Of all of you given the correct answer. Still, Ivan is leading. Next question. Which type of file can we address in class Google Classroom? One rather than answer. Next. JP, who is JP? Jazz. Jazz is leading now in this point. Fourth question, what kind of interaction is possible in Google Classroom? Still Jeffy. Jay-Z. Next question. And the last question, what types of assessment can we use in Google Classroom? Thank you, viewers. So we can use Google Classroom to differentiate it in the classroom.